Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a short video demonstration that's gonna show you how to remove the space between text in Squarespace. So how to reduce the space that is the kind of line space between the text here. Um, before I do so, very quickly, there's a link in the description for this video for a free trial version of the Squarespace website editor. So if you like the look of it, if you want to try it out, if you want a free trial version for any reason, click the link in the description and that'll take you right there. So it's quite an interesting one, this one, and we're going to do it through the use of CSS. So you don't really need to understand what all of that means um, and what, you know, what it's used for. Uh, but just to give you a little bit of context, it's like a little bit of sort of basic coding that we're going to inject into the website, which modifies the style of the site. Uh, for this one, it's really simple, um, so you can see it working in a second. So navigate to the dashboard of your, the site that you want to do this on. And then if you hit design in the menu here on the left hand side, the second option, and then right at the bottom, you'll see custom CSS there. Okay, so that's what we want. Go in there, and then you've got this little window here where you can add or copy and paste code from any location, and you'll see that apply itself live to your site there. So if I just paste it in, that's the code that you need there. Okay, so you can see that it's happened already. So it's P open bracket and that's that bracket with the little arrow in the middle of it if i um zoom in a little bit you can see that little arrow bracket there okay so and then there's a, a, a line dash height colon one semicolon close bracket okay that's the little piece of code that you need um as you can see it's right there um yeah, so I'll give you, you know, you can pause the video and maybe write that down. And also, you know, there's spaces here just to make you aware. So there's a space between the colon and the one and the semicolon and the close bracket. Okay, there's also a space between the P and the open bracket. And you've got space there, there and there. Okay. And then you can see that, you know, as soon as I pasted it in, if I delete that number one, that's what it looks like by default, okay? So that's without the code taking effect. If I added in a number three, for example, you can see that's quite a, a drastic space between the text now. Um, and if I took that away and maybe added a, to, a 0 0.5, just 0 0.5, you can see that that shrinks it to the point where it's intelligible, unintelligible. So you need at least, I think, um, if I go 0 0.9, 0 0.9 is pushing it, really. You know, it's kind of very difficult to read and if anyone had any kind of visual disturbance or learning difficulty that makes the text in you know completely unreadable for someone like that so something you need to bear in mind when you're designing a website is you know people from all kind of backgrounds and creeds and colors are going to be looking at it and trying to read that text so you don't really want to shrink it to the point where it's difficult it's just going to put people off interacting with your website um so you know one is a is a really kind of low amount of space you know even for myself it's quite difficult to kind of differentiate between the lines and it just adds complications so you always want to make it easy for your user to to read that text you know make it bigger make the spaces bigger make it easy to look at okay and uh, but that's it there once you hit save then for example that change takes effect and that is then across your whole site okay not not just that little text box there be careful with the css and obviously you can just come in here delete it all and start from scratch if you wanted to as well and that's now back to default okay so if i now save that the change is gone okay and that concludes our video tutorial and don't forget as well that there's a link in the description for this video for your own free trial version of squarespace if you want to access that if you like that video and you want to see more content of that nature give us a like and subscribe to the channel and if you've got any requests for future videos or any questions or anything like that leave them as a comment down below thank you very much